Alrighty guys, welcome to the first episode in Division 6. Yes, thank god we have been promoted in the last episode, if you didn't see it. Uh, we actually lost the first game, but we won the second two games to get promoted into Division 6. And we also upgraded to some gold players. Now this is the first team we come across in Division 6 with a Barbo and Bia Biani up front. So, what can you do? Not a bad introduction into Division 6. How sweaty is it going to be? <laughs> But, uh, Bentner here on the ball, a shot is blocked, and then it falls to Kvist, but unfortunately for them, uh, the defender decides to slide straight through Kvist, completely misses the ball, and it's just very, very interesting. So, uh, we actually do get the penalty early on, we are in the first five minutes, which is awesome. I actually take this with Sean, I didn't actually think about it, um, and it actually gets saved. Normally I take it with Bentner, and obviously because normally Bentner is the, uh, the default penalty kick taker. But I guess Sean is uh, she's, Sean is now, so maybe he's got better freak, uh, better penalties and stuff like that. But uh, in the next uh, little highlight, we do get a ball played out to Victor Fisher, and he does make it 1-0, making up for Sean's miss. It was a really poor penalty, the other one, so uh, we have to sort of make up for it. So 1-0, not too bad at all. And then Jose Callahan bursts forward, a beautiful save, um, and then a beautiful blocked clearance, or clearance off the line as well. Scary stuff there as they're trying to come back at us. But then uh, the keeper decides to try and clear the ball, falls to Corin Daly, and he chips it over the keeper from 30, 35 yards, something like that. Absolutely ridiculous in the first 30 minutes to make it 2-0. So not a bad way to start in Division 6. So hopefully we can continue on uh, and get some wins in this and, and get some more upgrades into Division 4 and stuff like that and get some, some rare gold, some uh, some Ericsson and some Agger. That would be awesome. But uh, a nice one too here. Played through to Corin Daly. It does luckily fall to Andreessen and he does get onto the end of it and makes it 3-0 in the 39th minute. So not too bad at all. The next chance is actually going to come from them. Bia Biani streams forward and really poor defending. I think it's probably, I'm guessing it's Boylison. I'll just have a watch. Yeah, it is Boylison. That uh, he's not as quick as Bia Biani, obviously. And he, uh, he, the, only, the, only, the only thing he could do while trying to tackle him is to pull his shirt. If you are that far behind, when you try and use, uh, use your B, it will actually... Uh, tug on their shirt, and when you're in the penalty, it's just going to be when you're in the penalty area, it's going to be a penalty no matter what. So now we all all we've got to do is try and stop a Barbo from putting the ball into the back of the net. Try and keep our clean sheet, and uh, Lindegaard does go left, and a Barbo goes left. So we are actually keeping the clean sheet so far. That's awesome stuff there by Lindegaard. Picks the right way, and then Bentner here, a nice little um, back heel type of. Fake shot backwards, plays it through to Fisher. A double save by Handanovic. A little bit annoying, um, but what can you do? <laughs> Pretty much. But we'll move on forward a little bit further. Bender on the ball from the corner. It does get cleared, and then go on to Biabiani. Does get tackled. Eventually falls to uh, to Corin Daly. A nice little heel to heel flick. Uh, a ball roll, a step back outside and back inside, and then rockets it past the keeper to make it 4-0 in the 69th minute. Not too bad at all. Corin Daly actually showing up. He's got great stats on him, like decent run. Not the greatest finishing, but his shot power and his free kicks are really awesome. So it's going to be exciting to see how we go in these two divisions with him. And then Bentner, just playing really slow, just sort of dribbling, does actually hit the post, unfortunately. And then it, does, it is Victor Fisher, a couple of, uh, a couple of roulettes, and unfortunately does put it wide. It would have been an awesome goal if we could have actually finished that off. But Bentner here, a nice little fake shot around the defender, plays it through to Andreasen, and Andreasen, a little bit of laggy, but he does actually tuck it under the keeper to make it 5-0 in the 81st minute. We are all over this guy, and that is actually how it ends. So a big, big 5-0 victory there in the first game of Division 6, which is awesome. So uh, hopefully we continue this, and... Uh, and our form continues, and we can try and get promoted into Division 5 and then into Division 4, and uh, and on our way to Division 1. That is obviously the main goal. And then the next team actually has Remy and Sturridge up top with Cabela and Coutinho as the cam. So going to be very scary. I haven't used Cabela this year. I really want to. I really loved him in the last couple of years. All his informs and his team of the season and stuff like that have been awesome. But um, please tell me how that's not a penalty. Bentner rounds the keeper, about to shoot. His legs get taken out from under him, but unfortunately, it doesn't get called. But Corin Daly plays a beautiful ball through to Bentner, whose first time finish rockets it past the keeper into the bottom left-hand corner to make it 1-0. It should have been 1-0 already from the penalty, but what can you do? And we actually do get a free kick here. Maybe a little bit soft, but I don't even care after the penalty that didn't get given. Uh, we have a look at some free kick stats, and it looks like Corin Daly, as you can see, that does have great free kicks, so we put him on it. Try the whip, and it does actually work. We put a top left corner with uh, with Curran Daly. Very, very good stuff here. 
And uh, the next effort does fall to us as well. Bettner here going to go on a run. Um, rule us around that second last defender. And then fake shots past that last guy. Cuts back inside. Luckily enough, keeps uses his strength to keep himself on the ball. And toe pokes it past the, past the keeper to make it 3-0. Not too bad of a little skill goal there. Would have looked a bit better if he didn't get, um, didn't get held up. But his strength did make the difference there. And then he does rush through and make it 4-0. Not too long after that as well. So uh, Big Lord Bentner showing up huge, as he always does. And then my defending was absolutely terrible there. I was trying to pick where he was going to go. I got it wrong, and Sturridge rolls through and makes it 4-1. Unluckily for them, it was the 90th minute, and that is actually how it ends. So a big 4-1 victory there as well. Very, very good stuff. Continuing our form into Division 6 once again. So uh, that's awesome. So hopefully in this third game we can get another victory and, uh, and continue our march forward and try and get nine points from three games. That'll be the best thing. But we've got to watch out because this guy has Aguero and Remy up top with Di Maria sitting just behind. Torre as well. It's a very, very OP Premier League squad. And uh, Aguero bursts through into the second half. And, um, <laughs> and that's it. Aguero bursts through. You cannot stop Aguero when he bursts through. And that's the only effort of that whole game. So uh, unfortunately for us, Aguero was the difference in that game. Two, uh, three games played, two wins and a loss. Not the worst start. I would have preferred three wins right off the bat, but we will take that either way. Uh, we will take uh, six points from nine points possible. And uh, hopefully we can get some more points in the next episode and try and keep our trek on track to uh, get up to Division 1 and uh, and win the Division 1 title with Lord Betna. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I'm a little bit out of it. I haven't recorded a, a gameplay or a commentary or anything like that for a while, so... Maybe a little bit choppy. I do apologize for that. Hopefully, I'm going to be coming out with a little bit more, a few more videos soon anyway. I'm starting to get the bug back for it, for uh, some editing and stuff like that. So, this series is a lot of fun. I just started playing it again, just started editing it again. It's going to be a lot of fun to try and get up as well. So, uh, I've been Vio, and peace.